The important thing is to hit with your heel on the kick. When you train with a partner, you can connect using the bottom of your foot so he doesn't get hurt. But in a fight, you definitely want to connect with your heel. Now, faster. Like I said before, the first two punches are fakes that distract your opponent and allow you to land a powerful kick. Now faster. Faster. Here I demonstrate a jab, cross, hook combination. Here I show a cross hook cross combination. Now I show a jab, uppercut, hook combination. The jab and the hook are done with your lead arm, and the uppercut is done with your rear arm. In this combination, I step my lead leg toward the inside of my opponent's body to make him think I'm heading in that direction. And then I quickly change my angle by stepping my rear foot toward the outside of his body. When done quickly, this gives me a dominant angle of attack and allows me to follow up with a cross, an uppercut, and then another cross. In this combination, I demonstrate how to throw a lead hook followed by a rear uppercut. The hook is used to enter in and close the distance, and then you land a powerful uppercut. In this technique, I show how to throw two jabs, a cross, a lead uppercut, and then an overhand right. Here I demonstrate a combination that involves three very fast punches. You throw a jab, a cross, and then another jab. In this combination, the focus should be on speed.
In this combination, you begin by throwing a cross and then stepping your rear foot forward. If you start in a standard stance, this puts you into a southpaw stance. With your left arm now in the rear, you throw another cross, except now it's done with your left arm. Next, you follow up with an overhand right. In this combination, you throw a jab, a cross, a lead uppercut, and then a rear over-the-top elbow. When you throw the elbow, you want to come down between your opponent's arms and connect with his face. In this combination, you throw a jab, a cross, a lead uppercut elbow, and then a rear.